Cedar Point is the roller coaster capital of the world. If you don't believe me, just go ask them. Mm -hmm. They say so themselves. They do. Wild Mouse will be their 17th, yes, I said 17th roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Unlike what Tony Clark said. Is our 18th roller coaster. It's the Wild Mouse. Because Top Hill Tracks is not open. Yeah, so that doesn't count. So it will be the 17th coaster if you count Pipe Scream mm -hmm. as a roller coaster. Is it a coaster, so that'll drop them down to 16. So Wild Mouse, 16th roller coaster. But anyway, tons of roller coasters, every different kind. Yeah. They got launches. Mm -hmm. They got dives yeah they, they got wings mm -hmm. they have really most any coaster that you could possibly want and flat rides mm -hmm. they got thrilling flat rides like max air and skyhawk skyhawk and they got old carnival type rides mm -hmm. like just the traditional scramblers merry-go-rounds merry -rounds, antique cars so they seem to have most everything including a boat ride which they just added mm -hmm. a few years ago now, what possibly can they need? Now, you could look at roller coaster lineup and say, okay, you know what? Maybe they need a certain coaster, but that's for a video that we're going to be doing in the near future. Mm -hmm. So while we're on that subject, why don't you guys go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and say anything. Share it with everybody. So because that you want to subscribe because that video that we got coming out about Cedar Point's possible next roller coaster, that's going to be a doozy and you do not want to miss it. Back onto this video, what ride does Cedar Point need the most? Now, in order to fully get into this and explain what we mean by our ultimate selection, by what we picked out, mm -hmm. we have to go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. The way beginning. Four and a half billion years ago, mm -hmm. in the ocean, a little tiny life form was swimming and it morphed into a thing called a coaster enthusiast. Wow. So out from the water came this coaster enthusiast and that started it all. Okay, we don't have to go that far back, do we? No, I don't think so. Actually, we don't really have to go far back at all, but channels love to give a whole history of things whenever they talk about something. Mm -hmm. Channels love going back and talking about a bunch of other things but i guess we really don't need to do that because we're talking about what the cedar point needs what ride they need in the future mm -hmm. so the thing that we think they need the most fits into their whole plan of bringing families back in yeah park. yeah so if you didn't watch that video we just did a whole video about what we think is uh what we think was their five-year plan right, cedar yeah, point yeah. was doing to bring families back in the park mm -hmm. and i think this one could have fit into that perfect definitely definitely it, it fits for it families families would love it uh roller coaster enthusiasts would love it and anyone in between everyone would love it everybody loves this kind of ride the ride that we are talking about if you haven't guessed it already is of course a dark ride, dark ride. Why doesn't Cedar Point have a dark ride? They did bring up during some event about the want and willingness to build a dark ride sometime in the future. But when's that future going to get here? I know I want that future soon because pretty much, I mean, think of an amusement park. They most likely have a dark ride. And Cedar Point being like the supposedly the greatest amusement park in the U.S., why don't they have a dark ride when like most any other park does? I mean, you go down to Kings Island a few hours south, Boo Blast. Mm -hmm. You go over to Kennywood a couple hours east, and you have, what, a couple kinds yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, a couple. Six Flags parks have the... Uh, well, some of them have the Justice League rides, so... Yeah, not all of them, but yeah. Yeah, a lot of them have the Justice League rides. And that one's pretty advanced. Yeah, that right? one, yeah. And then, of course, like, Universal has, like, a ton, but that's, like, what they're known for. Yeah, that's, that's But, like, thing. Cedar Point should get at least one of any of those because it would fit perfectly. Like, say it is raining out and somebody, like, people need something to do when it's raining. You can right. go into a dark ride. Go right now, other ride. than shows. Like, right yeah. now, if it's raining and storming, People like watch shows inside. Yeah, that's really all there is to do. Eat or watch shows. There's mm -hmm. no real ride that you can go on whenever there's lightning in the area so all the rides are shut down or anything mm -hmm. like that or if they're shut down because of weather. And 
another reason, like when we're at Kings Island and it's like 90 degrees, it's really nice to get into Boo Blast. Yeah, the, the queue line and actually the whole ride, the whole ride is air conditioned in there. So it feels really nice on a hot day. Yeah, so that's another reason to have a dark ride. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not even picky about what kind of dark ride. Yeah, I really, it could be, it could be something small, like something similar to like a shooting dark ride, like Boo Blast or uh, the Gobbler Getaway or whatever it's called at Holiday Gobbler's World. Gobbler's Getaway, that's like... Whatever it is. It could something be something like that. like that, and little kids can enjoy it. Yeah, and just shooter, shooting darker. enthusiasts uh -huh. seem to love it. And, and, or you could do something more advanced, like Justice League at some of the Six Flags parks, or if they do feel like doing something like at Universal, probably definitely not to like that extent, but something similar to that. I mean, really anything... That is a dark ride. I think if you can take this back to like a frontier trail area, yeah, uh, back you can have it themed, yeah, uh, like to a something western theme, a western for theme. A dark ride so would if be you do, really cool. if you do a shooting game, it could be something. Oh, that would be really cool. And it could be like, like they have the whole story between Maverick and Steel Vengeance fighting. Mm -hmm. So you could have something in there, maybe like your digger or something you're one of like the steel vengeance characters i mean there, right. there's so many different ways that they can theme it and bring and tie everything back together or they can put it back in forbidden frontier yeah i i, well, I don't know if there's room in forbidden frontier yeah, that's, that's a little yeah that's but a little there, yeah there but probably wouldn't be room there true, but true. something around that area like Anything in Frontier Town or on Frontier Trail yeah. would be perfect. I mean, it doesn't have to be on there, but that would be a great thing because it has a good theme. And Cedar Fair is trying so hard to theme things lately. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to make with, the parks look nice. With all sorts of areas mm -hmm. at different parks like King's Dominion and now King's Island and Carowinds and like... And Cedar Point with the Cedar boardwalk. Cedar Point with the boardwalk. So, so many different kinds of themed areas right so i think a themed kind of dark ride something like that yeah would be perfect so hey listen up guys i know you're open to it so why not just go for it yeah cedar point if you are watching this video yeah, you should the get guy a named dark cedar ride. point is watching this video go ahead and build a dark ride yeah build a dark ride so that's it like we said earlier comment so why don't you guys comment down below and let us know if you really want a dark ride, yeah. or if you think there it's take it or leave it, yeah, or, or what, what kind of dark ride. Yeah, or what ride in general do you think there's another ride that Cedar Point really needs that they don't have that isn't a dark ride? Like, whatever. Or what could the dark ride be named? What could it be themed to? What could it be like? But don't bring up roller coasters, because like we said, that's a following video coming mm -hmm. up in the near future, yeah. so we're going to get into that. So if you enjoyed this video, like we said earlier, like, subscribe, right. comment, share, mm -hmm. do all that stuff. And we'll see them next time on what? Beachless Studios.